Mr. Duff, the science buff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Duff, 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 duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Science rules. Mr. Duff, the science buff. You know shop is a property of modern. Duff, 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 duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Welcome to Mr. Duff, the science buff. It explores freshwater Florida. And remember, who needs Bill and I, the science guy, when you got Mr. Duff, the science buff? Hi, Mr. Duff, the science buff here on or in Kings Bay, Florida. Kings Bay is famous for all the manatees that come in from the Gulf of Mexico in winter here. Kings Bay is fed by the Crystal River in Florida. Kings Bay has 70 vents or springs where the water bubbles up, fresh water bubbles up at 72 degrees year round. Uh, the manatees come in here when the Gulf of Mexico gets cold, they come in here to stay warm and eat the grass. This is basically Manatee'sville. As I mentioned, Kings Bay and Crystal River have 70 springs or vents that the uh, uh, fresh water bubbles up. Uh, why is that? Well, it's because of the way Florida was created. You ever thought about how Florida came to be? Well, long ago, there was a bunch of uh, coral and shellfish and fish that died, and their skeletons laid there in the water, and over millions of years, that turned to limestone. And then as the Appalachian Mountains eroded, those sediments, the sand and the clay from the mountains, came down the rivers and it deposited on top of that limestone. So Florida has a lot of limestone and that is porous. It uh, has a bunch of holes in it. And as the water percolates from the rain, remember the water cycle, there's evaporation, there's runoff, there's also percolation. As the water comes down, it percolates into the ground, into the Florida aquifer. That water there then bubbles up through these springs all over Florida, but all because of the limestone. Mr. Duff, the science buff, what you see there is three sister springs. That's where the manatee hang out at some of the 70 vents. What is a manatee, you say? Well, the Florida manatee is a sea cow. Some people call it a gentle giant. Its length is about 11 feet. Its average mass is 1,000. It's a, that's 1,000 pounds. It's a herbivore that eats mostly grass and algae. You want to hear a joke? What do you get when you mix a human and a manatee? Humanity. If you look around here, you can see this area is tourist infested and there's very few manatee here today because the water has become warmer and they've gone out into the Gulf. Mr. Duff, the science buff, uh, again on Kings Bay, this is some of the seagrass we were talking about that the omnivores, the manatees, which are also mammals, eat. They also eat algae. Remember, as I mentioned, they're uh, 1,000 pounds, uh, their mass is 1,000 pounds, so they got to eat a lot of this, so it can become a problem with a lot of manatees in Kings Bay. You know what I'm talking about? Amazing. I found part of the Yellow Brick Road. I'm at Hunter Springs, one of the 70 vents on Kings Bay. Who would have thought you could find the Yellow Brick Road here? 72 degree H2O all year round. Hello, this is Mr. Duff, the science buff. Unfortunately, the Freshwater Florida video has been canceled because of the coronavirus. All the state parks in Florida have been closed, so there's no way for me to film it. I want all of my friends and students to know I miss them greatly and please try these keeps. Keep clean, keep your distance, keep making good decisions and keep learning. Grow your brain, don't waste it. This here is Abraham Lincoln. He was the 16th President of the United States. In 1859 he retold a story that went something like this. An Eastern King asked his wise men, give me a saying I could use in any situation, the king said. The wise men thought and for a week or two, I don't know sir, how long, but they came back with these words and they told him, and this too shall pass away, just like the coronavirus will pass away.